Hi, I'm Dr. Amir. If you are a woman over the age of 60 years old, or after menopause, or anyone who was treated in the past with cortisone for a long time, then you are at risk of developing osteoporosis or thinning of the bones. Healthy bones, which are living tissue, are constantly replacing themselves with new bones. But in the case of osteoporosis, the bone is thinning at a faster pace than it's able to replace itself. This results in much weaker bones. Unfortunately, you do not feel this process until there is a fracture in the bone. Most of these fractures can happen with any minimal trauma. They can occur within the hips, wrists, or along the spine. So let me show you what will happen when there is a fracture in the spine. As you can see, this is a normal vertebrae. And this is vertebrae with osteoporosis. You can see the difference between the bones. The top is hard and this is soft. If a fracture happened in this vertebrae, it will cause a collapse within it and a loss in its height. This will lead to a severe pain in the back. This is what happened to one of my patients. She was complaining of a new onset of mid-back pain. I noticed that her back was curved, unable to stand straight, and she was a bit shorter comparing to her prior visit. These were the results of several collapsed vertebrae in her mid-spine. So what are the risk factors for osteoporosis? First, it could be a lack of calcium and vitamin D in the blood. Second, women after menopause, or if they have lack of oestrogen for any medical reason, like surgical removal of the ovaries. Third, patients who took a cortisone treatment for a long time. Fourth, from heavy smoking and alcohol. Finally, having someone in the family who has osteoporosis. To diagnose this condition, we do a test called DEXA scan, which tells us if the bones are healthy or if the patient has osteoporosis with a high risk of bone fractures. Sometimes it can be a mild case called early osteoporosis or osteopenia. How do we treat it? It is important to take calcium and vitamin D. But taking them alone is not enough. They should take a special medications which can help improve the bone and decrease the risk of fractures. This can be given as a weekly pill or injections either once or twice a year. Here are my final advice. It is recommended for women over the age of 60 years to have a screening DEXA scan to discover osteoporosis early. This can be repeated every two years. Another important advice is to take calcium and vitamin D pills on a daily basis. Also, to get sun exposure and do regular exercise. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. To stay up to date with my latest videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.